The next part is, is that when you're making the purchase offer, so you found the property, you figured out everything, you, you, you think that you've got a, you know, a chance to make a profit on this, it's really important that you maintain control of that purchase offer. And what I mean by that is the, the first part about it is, is make sure that you check that you put financing on that offer. A lot of people are willing to go out there and take a risk and take a gamble that they can do a purchase offer all cash. We don't recommend doing it unless you are 100% sure that with all this work that you've done to get this property under contract, that you have a way of getting that, that closed. Phyllis has an escrow that will accept uh, an all cash offer. There's some escrows that will, but most escrows, if the purchase offer, which is a legal contract, says all cash, the escrow won't accept funds from a lender. So you would be responsible for coming up with all that money. And you may have your earnest money deposit at risk if you can't be successful on that. So our suggestion is we can, we've been able to give most of our clients almost the same weight as cash by on the purchase contract, on the first page, in the financing section, there's a part that says, for financing, there's a section that says other. And it's just a, it's another line and you just check other and there's a line to write something there. They just write private equity slash financing. And generally that right there, the word private equity means that there's less hurdles, less, less things that have, they have to go through. And most per people that are looking at these offers aren't sophisticated and they don't see that it had a, the, the financing language there. On the other part of the contract, it still looks like a like a like a um, an all cash offer. The numbers balance down at the bottom the same way. So most people miss this, and that's in your favor because now you've got the financing in there, but you've got the strength of a cash offer. Super important thing to 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 do. And you know, to, if you want it, you're, you'll get a lot of advice from this. You'll get a lot of advice from your agents that say, "Look, do it all cash." I'm telling you, you're not going to have any shot at this without being all cash. Um, you run the risk of if you can't get that financing addendum and if your escrow won't, if you haven't worked something out with that escrow or worked with that escrow before, you may lose that offer. So, you know, I would try, I would probably take the shot at doing the, the, uh, the, the financing, or private equity slash financing. The other thing that's super important is that you as the buyer want to maintain as much control of the, of the transaction as possible. You don't get very many places to do that, but you do on the purchase offer. You can, it can be buyer's choice rather than seller's choice for escrow and title. If you can simply make buyer's choice for escrow and title, and you already have an escrow that you've got a relationship, such as Stillis, that will accept all cash offers, you just won the day. So you want to be able to control those. It doesn't make sense for the seller who doesn't really have any, their, their level of vested interest in selling their property may change as they're going through the contract. If a backup offer comes in higher than yours, they're not gonna, they're, they'll be more inclined to stall and, and not work with you to not give that seller financing addendum if you need or that extension that you want. If you've got a, if it's your title and escrow, it's your team, you hired them, they're working for you. You've hopefully got a relationship or you're building a relationship. So take, take advantage of that. Get the, get, that, get the title and escrow under your choice and you know go out and figure out who you want to be using for that, who, what escrow and title and why you want to be using the escrow and title that you're going to use.